Synthetic diamonds aren't fake, in as much as they're made of pure carbon, the same as natural diamonds. I'm here with Dr Mark Newton. Mark, how can you tell the difference between a synthetic diamond and a natural one? OK, these are all diamonds. Yeah? Four of them are man-made synthetic diamonds, um, and this is a natural diamond. So the first difference is that these are uh, a year old, months old. This is probably about three billion years old. This is fairly typical of synthetic diamond uh, in that um, it's got a lot of nitrogen impurity in um, and the form that the nitrogen is incorporated in the diamond gives rise to this yellow colour. So it doesn't really look much like a natural diamond because you expect natural diamonds to be colourless. Now it is possible to produce synthetic colourless diamonds and this is a, a good example when I say colourless as in not much colour. but the um, the distribution of the impurities and the way the diamonds have grown is very different to the way a natural diamond would have grown and that's what gives them away. Other than the impurities, do the diamonds share their other qualities with a natural diamond, you know, like the legendary hardness that diamonds have? So man-made diamonds are as hard as um, uh, natural diamonds because they're chemically uh, the same as natural diamonds. Uh, but there are, uh, it's the distribution of impurities that give them away as being uh, synthetic and that's very easy to show and commercial machines are now available that you can just put the diamond in and in seconds see that it's a synthetic diamond. So if you took one of these into a jeweller's, would he recognise that it was a synthetic one? Any jeweller should know that their diamond is natural or synthetic because it will have been supplied to them by somebody uh, who could tell them. And they could go to any gem testing lab who have uh, instrumentation that is developed on physics uh, worked upon in departments such as the Warwick Physics Department and these machines can now at the press of a button routinely tell you the difference between a natural and a synthetic diamond. So how exactly can you tell the different distribution of the impurities? Well this is a very, uh, this is a machine produced by the Diamond Trading Company that utilises principles that um, uh, you can uh, verify in a, a physics laboratory. Mm -hmm. You can just take uh, one of these diamonds and place it in the little holder uh, and pop it into the machine and once it's in the machine you can see the diamond through the microscope. Uh -huh. You can switch on the ultraviolet lamp to excite the diamond and just bring it into focus. It's a bit dirty because I use my fingers so you can see all the spots of dirt on the surface. But what you can clearly see are these different growth sectors coming out and this is called cubo-octahedral growth which doesn't occur in nature. So the seed will have been down here and the diamond actually physically grew out in a matter of a couple of days from that seed. That pattern straight away tells anybody that that is a synthetic diamond. 